Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, check in with you guys. I promised a while back, quite a while, that I was going to try to shoot these uh, where are they? Where are they? Uh, composite toe shoes with my Benjamin Bulldog 357. Um, and I haven't had a chance to do that because around here the only shooting range that I know of that's outdoors is off limits for shooting of any kind because it's like a deer and elk habitat. And so I can't go there until I think it's sometime in either late April or early May. So um, I'm actually going to be doing this in my basement, which is probably not the brightest thing to do. 357 Bulldog has a lot of bark, and it's probably not a good idea. Um, my wife and my son are uh, out of town. It's spring break, so they're over in Seattle. And... I have the house to myself, so now is the time to do it. They're coming home tomorrow, so... Um, if any of you guys watch Demolition Ranch, you know those scenes where uh, Matt Carricker says, Don't tell Meredith! Well, this is kind of the same thing. Um, I, I don't think I'll do any damage, but uh, if I do, I'll try to cover it up with some duct tape or something. <laughs> and uh, Don't tell my wife. Alright, I will uh, set this camera up downrange by the... Uh, composite toe shoes. I used the ones that um, last time I shot with the, uh, I don't know if you can get it to focus or not, last time I shot with the uh, Marauder and actually finally put a dent in it so you can see it actually scuffed it. It did something to it. So I put the other composite toe over there that has no damage on it. I'm going to shoot it with the Bulldog and see what happens. I will uh, let you know how it goes on the flip side. All right, wish me luck. All right, here goes Benjamin Bulldog 357 from not very far away. Holy smokes. <laughs> All right, note to self, don't do that again. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. <laughs> uh, aim a little higher. Jeez Louise. That's incredible. Well, I already got a hole in there, so. Whoops. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. I'm sighted in at like 50 yards and I'm shooting at 10 feet. I think that got it. Well, kind of. It hit it. And it did some damage, but it did not go through. Of course, it took me... One, two, three, four shots to do it. <laughs> this is the best part. Remember when I said don't tell my wife? 
that went through the two by four or a two by six all the way through through the paneling and I'm a little worried about what's behind there all right well but now we know steel toed composites or a composite safety toes or uh they're sturdy sorry if I'm yelling I've got earplugs in still ah that's better pulled out the earplugs all right till next time All right, you know that feeling you get when you've done something less than intelligent? Yeah, that's how I'm feeling right now. So the bulldog blows me away again. I, I keep thinking of it as like it's just a, a, a souped up version of the Marauder, and it's not. It's shooting an 82 grain pellet at something like 900 feet per second. If you do the math, that comes out to... I don't remember exactly, but it, I want to say it was somewhere in like, it was over 100 foot-pounds of energy. And that's that's pretty significant. So um, my problem in this project was that my gun was sighted for about 50 yards, and I was shooting at 10 feet. So I was aiming here. Oh, let's see if I can do this. I was aiming here, and the pellets are hitting like down here because... They're doing an arc coming back down 50 yards from here. <laughs> so um, they're, uh, it didn't, my, my aim was way off, essentially. So, uh, but what blew me away was it punched a hole, a perfect cylindrical hole, through a 2x6, came out the other side, went through a half inch of paneling, which, you know, it's probably pine it's nothing big but and then it went through a two by four that was on the other side of that uh, i found the pellet in the closet on the other side it just kind of made its way through but i mean that's at least what three and a half inches of wood four inches of wood so yeah benjamin bulldog no joke that's a serious gun did not go through the the uh, safe composite safety toes though so those things still live to another day. So I guess next up will be a 22 long rifle. And then the next thing I have after that is a 30 6 which that'll go through armor plating. So that's not really a challenge. But uh, 22 might be interesting. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will talk to you all later. Bye.